so okay thanks poonam uh, like you know this recording is for my uh, interviews for my one of my phd papers in qualitative research method yes. so i'm going yes. to ask you some questions and uh, uh, we'll just take a natural conversation nothing is sure. semi structured in that sense so uh, you like to read tarot cards now the first question i had is are there people who are better suited to read tarot cards versus others uh pardon i didn't understand are there people who are better suited to read tarot cards versus others yeah i think if you are more inclined towards like you know uh, to your life purpose to spirituality then yes otherwise anyone can learn and uh, you know uh, anyone can learn tarot it's not that difficult but the okay. thing is how much connection how much energy how much vibration you are putting up putting up now that's make the main difference otherwise uh, it's a 78 cards everyone can learn it from internet or everything is available but the thing is how you are uh, you know you are uh, towards divine towards this divine energy how you are using it that's the main thing. hmm so energy vibration what did you mean by that energy everything is energy you know even Bhav, even bhagavad gita has uh, told us uh, millions of years back ki energy is neither created nor dis- destroyed it can be you know it can be just transferred same is the case everything whether it is uh, non living things whether it is living thing everything has energy just for example if i am uh, uh, if you're not using your home your Uh, staying somewhere else and your home is not used for so many years when you come back you will feel that heaviness you will feel that vibrations that something is there which is not good once you clean up and everything is done then your house the energy the aura of the house will totally change so when that non living thing which is just a house made up of bricks and all they have the energy so everything every living being every even these cards they have the energy they tell you when you are connected with them then what is the answer what is right and what is wrong what is the guidance they can mm-hmm. that is the main thing okay understood so when you are getting ready to uh, you know do a reading for someone so uh, just before you do the reading is there any way that you prepare yourself yes definitely there are so many ways uh, i have my own rituals like i do meditation i do reiki and before session i definitely spend 15 minutes only with my cards mm. only with the energies of the like this is my healing point where i'm sitting right now i usually do reading over here also and reiki also over here so this is you can say my sacred space it has a positive energy and uh, with the then i connected with the divine with my angels with my god goddesses whatever like i feel like i have my uh, you know my crystals also so i cleanse my cards and then program them that and then call the divine that every reading which i do na uh, it should resonate with the person it should give the guidance which the person has come to me for that mm-hmm. got it mm-hmm. so uh, um, preparing yourself by uh, meditating and just this getting your cards ready yes and uh, you said mentioned to me earlier that you do readings online yes. uh, is there any difference in preparation if you had to do it in person no i don't think so ah uh, okay same so same 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 got it so um the card i have seen that sometimes the cards are pulled by the reader hmm sometimes they are pulled by uh, the uh, client what is the difference between the two it's totally depend upon the person like especially when you are online you can't tell your client to pick up the card then you have to connect with the energies and you have to pick up the card but when my client is there then definitely i will i want the, his or her energy to be connected with the cards also so i tell that person uh, to pick the card if that person is comfortable then it's okay if say nahi ma'am aap hi nikal lijiye then definitely i will pull the card energy will be same there will be no difference but yes uh, in this way your client will like uh, if it's if he or she is present over there they feel more connected that okay i am also part of it so that way otherwise it doesn't make any difference 
Okay, and you said that the energy has to connect with the card. Even for your own preparation, you were saying energy has to connect. What does that mean? Energy, like uh, these are, you know, when you bring the deck from the market, it's just mm -hmm. a piece of, you know, a paper. Yes. Okay. When you put energy into it, when you do meditation every day, when you uh, bring divine into it, then these cards bring your energy, your only. The cards don't have any energy, but you have to put the energy. And when the reader puts its energy over the uh, over the cards, then definitely it got that vibration. Whenever you pull a card, sometimes when I do reading, uh, when a person asks me a question online, I just uh, give the answer before taking out the card. Mm. And then I pull the card and the same thing was there in the card also. Mm. That, uh, you know, give me also goosebumps and that person also, ma'am, you were saying the same thing and the same card has uh, come up. Yeah. So it's the energy which has to be like, uh, it comes by, you know, practice. It comes by how uh, how much you believe in them and how much, uh, you know, uh, you have that faith that, yes, you are not doing anything. Only the divine is there to give the answers. Hmm. When you do in a surrender form, now, then hmm. your reading will definitely will be accurate because then ego will not be there. That I am doing the reading. No, no reader is doing any reading. Only the divine is coming and giving the guidance and you are just the medium you can say hmm. so the full source is that only <laughs> uh, you know i had talked to uh, two three other tarot readers so one said that she prays you know uh, she uses angel reading cards so she prays to the gods of the angels like uh, archangel michael i have so many I have angel card also and then definitely I pray to God, goddesses and archangels. So everything is included in it. Okay. Even I call my Reiki masters also. Even I say, uh, Mother Rani, please be with me. Whatever okay. God you believe in, dekhi, aapko energy kahan se milegi. the source of the energy is one. The name can be different. So whether I'm doing archangel reading or I'm doing normal tarot reading or I'm doing uh, using my oracle cards, the energy will be the only one source which is coming from the divine. So yes, mm. name can be different, mm. uh, but yes, the source is one only. Mm. Okay, understood, understood. So when the client picks up the card, because the client has not done any of this preparation, only you have done. Yes. Then also the card gets picked up, right? Yes, 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 okay. definitely. Okay. Any idea how that happens? I told you, I make the uh, connection is there no? because his energy is what I am using. I'm not ah. using my energy. I have connected to that person energy because if I am taking out the card, it's only for me now then. I but I'm taking his name. That person is there. I have uh, his face in my mind. Then his energy will be picking it up. And so that is the only difference. Because and if I'm doing it for my reading, then okay, my energy will be there. This is for my card. Okay. But if I'm doing it for you, then it has to be, I should be connected with you only with the universal energy and with your energy. Then I am not involved in that reading. Only you and the divine are connected. I am only the medium. Clear. And same card. Suppose if you are also there, uh, two, three other persons like online, I do number of readings. Then, uh, uh, I have to shuffle again so that the energy, the person, the cars which have gotten up, they should be like uh, broken up. So again, I will pull up. Then the name of the person I'm connected with, then I will take out the name. So for every reader, it's important to take the name of the person so that the energy get connected to that. Understood. That's Understood. Uh -huh. Thanks for clarifying that. So <laughs> when a client asks you a question, now someone has come and is asking you a question. Like, uh, this is my question. So, what is your next step when you clear the question? I just close my eyes, listen to the whatever the question is there, and then just put surrender to the divine. That's divine. This person is asking for this. Just give the guidance. Hmm. What is the present, past, or future? Or if they want just uh, that, uh, whether this job is good for me or not, then. Uh, with, then I should reframe the question also because when they are putting up the question whether this job is good or not so they are go, uh, giving a contradictory answer yes it's neither yes neither no okay so I will put in my in my words I will ask the divine that okay whatever job he's doing 
it's mm. good for him if the cards come positive then yes if the cards come negative then okay it's not good you have to search for another job then i should also get the guidance card also okay yes. so sometimes um, we have to change the question what the client has asked because they are uh, they don't know how to frame the question framing of the question is very important uh wo kehte na specific question specific answer you will get agar aapka question hi thoda sa jalebi ki tarah hoga then definitely there will be like uh, energies will be little disturbed also yes yes so uh, then sometimes do you also ask clarifying questions yes definitely okay just to get a specific question so that you get the right answer you get yeah, that hmm or sometimes if it's just for yes or no because uh, we have different plans now sometimes only yes or no then only i will provide yes or no i will not give any other guidance or something like that because they have not asked for it i see hmm on your own you don't uh, share additional no, information no. we I don't see. indulge in the energies na Hmm. same is the question like uh my daughter she is just like uh, you know i told you she is just 20 years old so sometimes she ask me question i will not uh, ask matlab uh, read something which is not she has asked for because that will be against the i can read any everything whether her love life whether her uh, anything related to studies or but whatever she has asked for i will concentrate on that one that is the major thing uh, to be true to your client and to be true to yourself also whatever they have asked i have to answer that understood so now the question has been asked you have clarified it and you have made the question very specific so that the right specific answer comes so once this has happened how what is the next step to seek the information so from where or who does this information come to you i told you na no, from the divine only yeah yeah is the psychic abilities which we have to like it's not a one day game it's yeah. like practice and uh, how much uh, faith you have in the divine when you are surrender na when you surrender in anything you know yeah. whenever you surrender and uh, just believe that whatever is coming to you whatever you are giving guidance to your client is just uh, you can say the words of the divine which are coming I don't know how it's coming, but it's coming. Whenever I take out the card, I just show them, and they they say, "Yes, ma'am, this is the true thing." Hmm. Yesterday only, I have uh, like uh, uh, in my live only. Yes, yesterday was day before yesterday when Sunday was there. Live was there. So one girl was asking uh, about mother debts. Her uh, her mother was in debt and all, and uh, I was. She was said. Ke, uh, she said, "Ke ma'am, when uh, my mother will be debt free." So I pull out the card, and it was just a timing. This thing she was asked for timing, nothing else. But I don't know why I was like I said, okay, by the twenty twenty three end, uh, it will take seven to eight months. But uh, tell her not to leave the puja and all. Now she is doing. Okay. I don't know from where it comes. It's it was not in there in the card. Nothing was there. I said, and then it's okay. In the evening, I will send you the screenshot also. she said ma'am it was totally out of the blue how you have said that because yesterday night she was crying and saying ki ab main bhagwan ki pooja nahi karungi bahut kar li ab ye hamari sunti sunta to hai nahi to prashad chadhana they are bengali to prashad chadhana hai main prashad chadha dungi but i will not pray and ke the now i have told her that what ma'am has said now she is like ki okay this is only the sign of god that no i don't have to stop my prayers so this is the you know synchronization this is the divine this thing which nobody can explain <laughs> hmm. i was just going to ask you that when do you say exactly what you get or do you add something so sometimes sometimes it has to be like i was about to answer like in live now we have to answer very quickly yes. so i only take one question and sometimes people ask ma'am financial also and love also so i i am about to take financial only but there at the back of the mind angels or the god wants to convey the love life also so i pull up the next card mm -hmm. so it's just like uh, go with your intuition never doubt yourself and uh, just give the what divine wants to say and you said go with your intuition so in your words what is intuition then intuition is the uh, you can say 
like uh, in tuition, we all have that sixth sense, you know, as a lady, as a mother, you must have felt that. Yes. But uh, in a normal life, we don't appreciate it. Ke nahi bacha girega. Aur wo ho jata ke wo bacha girta hai us din. Yes. From where that intuition has come. Mm-hmm. It's something sixth sense. That is the sixth sense. But yes, with the readings and uh, when you are into meditation, when you are working on your chakras, this intuition power increases day by day. And which I have seen a lot of tremendous, uh, you can say, uh, difference. And uh, I think this is the only blessings a reader can get from the universe. I see. Got there it. are so many ways to increase the intuition. But the main thing is surrender, which I have done. <laughs> Just surrender to God. He knows everything. Understood. So now you have given a response, like you explained. And now the client wants to ask you another question. Okay. You know, clarifying question. Something hmm. else is natural, no? Clients so always ask. Remedies also. Sometimes remedies also they ask. So when, when the second question is asked, do you read from the same cards? Do you no. shuffle the cards again? No. What happens if... I shuffle it again. If it's from same thing, like if we asking for a job and uh, uh, whether like uh, the example I have given, ke, whether this job is good for me, I pick up the car and I say, no, it's not good. Then must he must be saying, then ma'am, what next or when new job is coming? Then I can pull from there. Otherwise, if he's asking from different perspective now, whether I should go out of uh, this or whether my new job will be more earning or something, then I will again reshuffle. So more the reshuffle, more the energy you create, more the accuration, accurate will be the answer. But it all depends upon the reader to reader. Sometimes um, a reader take out same uh, question, all the questions from the same uh, spread only. But I don't usually don't do. I usually cut the energy and then again reshuffle and then again ask uh, the divine. Okay, some readers are able to answer from the same uh, spread. I don't know. They must be. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. But so, I have seen some uh, people who are just, uh, they spread only once and then they take out uh, questions. But I I don't know. I don't do that. So uh, are there times when clients say that, no, no, this is not right or this is not true. Like they disagree for some reason. Till now, so with the grace of God, no. But in future, yes, it can happen. It okay. can happen because definitely sometimes the uh, your energy level is not that high. Even that's why I uh, take appointments only when I feel okay with it. Hmm. Sometimes you feel that no, today is not the day or today I don't want to read. Then I simply say no rather than going for a reading. I see. Hmm. So that is very important. The reader energy uh how much vibrations the reader is having that is very important in any reading so till now nobody has said okay, no ma'am this is not uh, correct but yes it can happen anyway mm-hmm. so it's readers energy has to be like more. Yes. yes they have to be like spiritually awakened they have to be like uh, uh in a good state of mind they should not be stressful reading like I will tell you in uh, every Sunday I do live yes. but some Sundays I just write on my uh, Facebook that uh, sorry I will not be available because there was some death in my uh, society so I was everything was planned I have put up my sari and everything but inner uh, this thing now I was not feeling good hmm. I was not feeling that uh, uh, like I would I should uh, share something with others but my energy is so low how can I give energies or how can I give the readings to another person who is already on a low energy level and so as a reader you have to maintain that balance you should be a balanced person you should know what is right and wrong and what uh, uh, what energies you are carrying if you're not fine on that day some mood swings are there or some something has happened just leave that. Don't take energy. Don't take reading work on that day. That's uh, that my rule. That's my rule. <laughs> Understood. That. that is why how it happens. Yes. Uh, from a like client perspective, like I asked you, are there some readers who are better suited to read? Are there some clients who are better suited to become clients? Uh, I think. Uh, 
I have till now I have done so many readings and yes, some uh, some clients, uh, mostly most of the clients, they have said that yes, we got positivity from you and everything. But some are there who are like, ma'am, unka to ho gaya. Like I put uh, my feedbacks and all now over there. So they are like, ma'am, mere beche ko to naukri lagi nahi. Aapne to bola tha three months mein lag jayegi. Mm -hmm. The cards have come that okay, in three months your son will get the job. Right. But these are just guidance that the client has to need to understand that these are just guidance. You have to work for it. Jaise agar aapko bhook lagi hai, you have to, if you have ordered food, you have to eat with your own hands. You can't like, if plate aagi hai, toh, they, wo apne aap chale jayega. Same way, if the cards are showing that your coming time is favorable, then how you are using your time, whether you are in a gratitude mode, mode whether you are in receiving mode, uh, if you're always complaining, then I said, okay, nobody can do anything for you. If you're always complaining that, okay, this is not happening, job is not happening, I'm doing very good, but the world is not bad. God will say, stay like this, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's all like, uh, yes, some clients, only one or two clients are like this. Otherwise, touch wood, I get uh, good clients. So, you know, another tarot reader told me that uh, like you spoke about yourself being positive and doing sessions only on days that you think you can do them. Other days you will not do. Yes. So this other tarot reader told me that when clients are also very, say, oppressed, uh, sorry, upset, depressed, negative, worried, many situations they want. So that tarot reader suggests that Let's wait for some time, like till tomorrow morning or till the evening, and then we will do the reading because you you are very negative. In what my is? case, I think uh, uh, that is the only case I can feel their energies, and I will answer that uh, question, and I will give them remedy so that they are out of this scenario. If they, because as a reader, you know your energies, your energies, you have protect yourself, you have done everything. But the other person who is your client, who is in distress, how can I say, okay, now you are distressed, don't come to me? No. As a reader, it's my responsibility to calm his energies. So definitely by maybe by reading or maybe by giving some motivation or giving some, like half of the clients uh, uh, say that, ma'am, after talking to you, half of our problems are already solved. So it's like we have, we ever as a reader, we have to heal them, uh, not only by giving the answers, but giving them some motivation, giving uh, them some uh, so lack that okay, nothing will happen. It's just a time phase which will go out. So it doesn't matter whether because only the person who is in distress he will come to you, right? Because you in you are in a f in this field only. Mm -hmm. The very good, uh, open-minded and uh, the the person who is very happy, they will not give go to any Jyotish or they will not to get any, uh, go to any Tarot. They need answers at that time. So that time, it's our responsibility to answer their question and calm their energies. And you also mentioned that you also give some remedies. Yes. So, like the how, what are remedies? How remedies do? are uh, actually, uh, I use so many things. I use angel numbers and I, uh, according to the situation and according to the problem they are facing. And uh, I give them Reiki sessions also through numerology also. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things are included in it. It's not only tarot this thing, but in remedies, a lot of things are included. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Understood. Some time ago, we were talking about intuition, like you know, uh, in how the sixth sense mm -hmm. is getting better. I think, and you said with meditation and other practices. Mm -hmm. Um, at the same time, you know, many times we hear some things inside us, but they are not right. They may come out of a negative thought. They may come out of a worry. Yeah. So how do we know that intuition is right this time? Negative thought. See, if some thought is making you anxious, if mm -hmm. that thought is making you uh, feel you anxiety and you are feeling stress, then definitely you have to write that thought and look after it. What are the uh, consequences and why this thought has occurred? Like suppose mostly ladies, they have come to me that uh, ma'am, uh, everything is okay, but we have a fear that uh, something will happen to our husband or something will happen to our kids. 
so it's just a negative thought which they are just plant which they have planted and they are just giving watering they are just watering them so i just told them i'd read for them and i think everything is okay nothing to worry then i give them some angel numbers and i said then you have to work on your because root chakra if the root chakra is little blocked then definitely your stability issues your fear factor and everything increases so that why the uh, scenario is totally different but in the cards it's kept coming positive so i just give them two or three remedies then they are totally fine mm -hmm. and you said earlier because you only do your readings when you are feeling balanced and positive you have always yes. seen that your cards are uh, yeah your responses from a percentage point of view are always accurate they are always accurate so yes. but, uh, what i'm trying to research is how does a client find meaning in the answers that the gives when a reader who make them understand the meaning they will not be able to if suppose i am showing you this card okay this yeah. is three of wands hmm. you will it's nothing for you it's just the person standing with three uh, uh, you can say wands but i will explain him what he is going through maybe in next three months he will have some collaboration coming or he will be going out there will be options also there will be stability and uh, growth is also there i think uh, that person must be going overseas also and then say yes ma'am we are planning to we are planning for a visa so there they feel connected hmm. Hmm. so it's how the reader make them understand the meaning because that person is a layman that doesn't know anything they have asked you question you have to uh, convey them and convince them in a proper way the proper story i made it i made a story out of the cards ta huh? then i make them explain that this is the situation this is your present situation that was your past now in future this thing can occur and they say yes ma'am we are planning for it so the like, purpose yes, also i have a, a reading and uh, he was from uh, australia and that person was like uh, he has known me from somewhere and he has known ke okay i will uh, approach you and the he was asking some question about his career then suddenly i had said ki okay uh, in two months maybe you are planning to get married or you are uh, uh, having some partner or there is love affair he said yes ma'am i was about my next question was that only there is a girl who i am looking after and uh, we are planning to marry but not in two months i said ki no just be ready in two months you will be married <laughs> so it was totally out of like how i was asking your career and you so sometimes it happen they are asking for something but angels like uh, i believe in angels you know i believe in god so sometimes the answer comes out on its own and i have to convey it i can't stop it the main the first i uh, and foremost i lost you poonam Unam, I lost you. Sorry, I don't know what happened. Oh God! <laughs> you were saying so that have, I have. You have understood. You were saying that sometimes I have to share what the angels yes. are. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I was saying it is the uh, you can say. uh the main uh, you can say a blessing which we need to tell the client. Mm hmm so you uh, another reader had talked to me about the same thing that the story is a way for the client to understand yes for that also and for us also it makes us like uh, it's just a we are not reading cards we are reading a story the life journey of that person mm hmm mm hmm so simply put simple single question is somebody asked a question uh you know like you said or like i am saying i am asking a question i have to submit this report by 12th of june i have to complete my paper complete my research and i am still doing the interviews i am not sure even how to do the analysis of something like this because there is no data right it is only people's lived experiences so i don't even know what i will write in the report i'm really worried so will i be able to do it by 12th of june 
Hmm. That's the question. Okay. Can you take out a card to just give me a response to this, and I'll ask you a question. Then. I'm not charged my cards. You okay, should fair have. Fair enough. Fair enough. So I asked this question to one other tarot reader who yeah. uh, uh, said, "In a few weeks, yes, that was the answer. It was some angel cards." So the question I had for her, and I'm, if suppose the same card came out for you. How come these two cards nickel gay? Like you know, so direct response. Yes, in a few weeks you will complete it, and yes, you will complete it. Hmm. Like there are seventy-eight cards. Anything yes. come out? That's the thing, na. So, That's the thing because I have told you these seventy-eight cards. We have we as a reader have put our energy in it. Now they are not just cards; they are divine. Uh, this thing, you hmm. know, my cards. I don't allow anyone in the family to touch it. Even my son also. uh when they are not charged then also sometimes he say mama i am also tarot reader one time i will also take out take it out then it's okay otherwise nobody at the home is allowed to touch my cards because they i put them in uh, you know in a box and uh, i take care of them i put some crystal charged crystals on it and then definitely you have put it so so much energy then whenever you ask a question you will get the right answer hmm. but still If the answer is yes, like in your case, if the person that uh, tarot reader has said, "Okay, yes, you will complete," but if you don't do anything, if you sit just like this, "Okay, okay," उसने तो बोल दिया कि हो जाएगा, nothing will happen. Of course. So it's just the guidance that yes, your coming time, you will be able to complete, but the effort will you have to put. Yeah. Now it's in your hand, but yes, in the positive state of mind, you got the right answer. That okay, yes. Now in your your this thing your work conditions and everything is also taking into consideration but you will give your hundred percent that yes ki tarot reader ne bola ho jayega to ho jayega yes of course you i can give you hundred percent wo kya pata kuch weeks ki jagah aapka ek week mein hi ho jaye yes yes otherwise aapka state of mind bolega are usne bol to diya ho hi jayega aaj nahi to kal ho hi jayega to pata chale raat ko 11 baje bhi you are not able to complete so it's both way round it's there in your cards it's there in your destiny it's coming to you the favorable time is coming to you but how uh, efficiently you are using your time how eff- efficiently you are using your uh, uh, you can say your things to get the result wahi cheez hai that that is a fair point like if i just sit and do nothing who will write my report can't yeah. be written on its own so, yeah so if you understood that my core question is how the cards or the reading becomes meaningful for the client mm. so is there something that i'm not asking you that i should ask to clarify this question ha uh, one question uh, some my uh, student was asking ki ma'am hum ek hi card se reading kar sakte hain ya we need multiple decks uh, hmm. decks hmm. so i said it's totally up to you like i have so many decks but generally i use this uh, tarot normal tarot wala this thing and i have angel message also it's all depends upon your time and your uh, way like if you want to do youtube this thing then definitely you need to elaborate this thing or sab kuch aap acche se wo karke otherwise 78 cards ka ek deck bhi hoga na aapke paas that's more than sufficient so you uh, as a beginner you should start with only one these cards because everything every answer you can take it from there aapka mm-hmm. timeline ho aapka even uh, lost and found uh, things you can uh, use these cards and uh, then uh, whether your health problems or uh, kahan hai kaun sa aapka chakra balance nahi everything every answer you can get from the single tarot card mm. but i i have so many and i love them and i keep collecting and uh, i love them <laughs> I have abundance cards also. I have self care cards also, and I have very beautiful cards. They are surrender cards, like what you need to surrender to uh, move ahead in your life. And then accurately, the accurately the answer is so accurate, and I love those cards, you know. So, so it's all depends upon person to person. And it all boils boils down to faith. I, yeah, faith is, I... very, faith is very important in everything, you know. If you don't have a faith on tarot. और इफ यू आर जस्ट लाइक ओके देख लेते हैं कर लेते हैं आपको एनर्जीज भी वैसे ही मिलेंगी आपके कास्ट भी कॉन्ट्रोडिक्ट होंगे आपके कास्ट भी कंफ्यूज ही होंगे फिर यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू गेट द यू कैन से 
करेक्ट और कहते ना सटीक आंसर वो नहीं मिल पाएगा एंड सम क्लाइंट्स वर दे डू इज नॉट द क्लाइंट्स हु पे मी बट द ऑनलाइन क्लाइंट्स ऑनलाइन यू कैन से वेन पीपल कम सपोज दे आर आस्किंग सेम वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मी then they will go to some other live and they will ask the same question to that person then they will follow some other uh, reader and they again same question hmm. what they are doing they are doubting their energies they will not get anything because one re- every reader has a different energy they might be the answer will be the same but still if the person is not satisfied with one or two reader and if that person is going to so many readers he is confusing his energies also and universal energies also and when we doubt we don't get anything we don't get anything right so your customers also i had asked you earlier that the customer are there some customers who are better suited then is it true to assume that the customer should also have faith i think uh, whatever uh, till now whoever who whosoever has come to me uh, they have faith they have done it for first time till still they got the faith they said ke i got uh, uh, 70 years old auntie is there in my society she is living in our society and for her the tarot and everything was just new and she was yeah. like uh, ke main pehli baar karwana chahti hu but i don't know anything whether it works or not So she was a South Indian. I was like, "Okay, uh, it's totally up to you." I come live every Sunday. You can watch me over there. Build your trust, and if you feel it's okay, then come. Otherwise, no need. Nobody is asking you to come. So she said, "Nee, ki I want to try." I said, "Go, your mercy. That's totally up to you." But usse pehle ab dekh lo hota hai kya hai. Then he uh, attended my so many lives and then she one day came home because she's a old lady so i tell her ke okay aa jao she said ke mujhe online nahi karna mujhe aapke samne baith ke karna hai i said okay karo and uh, then she started ke meri beti wahan rehti hai uske bare mein batao ye and then I, when i started and she was like kaise pata right <laughs> she was totally shocked ke uh, you have not uh, met my daughter you have not seen her you have seen me for the first time i think that was the covid uh, days and uh, even we were new over here so i have not met her she, i was meeting her for the first time she said ki mera to chhodo aap meri beti ke bare mein who is staying in us aap uske nature ke bare mein how you are telling it ke uska itna affair bhi tha jo piche bhi tuta hai aur ye hai wo hai तो आप कैसे बता सकते हो मैं क्या वो तो मुझे भी नहीं पता आप कौन से मिल गए यू गॉट योर आंसर्स शी सेड यस मैं क्या नाउ यू हैव अ फेथ कहती यस एंड देन शी रोट अ बिग फीडबैक ऑन द सोसाइटी ग्रुप एंड फ्रॉम देयर नाउ हाफ ऑफ द सोसाइटी इज माय क्लाइंट सो इट्स ऑल यू नो इट्स यू हैव टू बिल्ड द ट्रस्ट ऑब्वियसली जो क्लाइंट आएगा वो नया है अगर एक बार ही इज कमिंग टू यू विद द लिटिल फेथ ऑल्सो then when they see the result when this when they see how you read the cards they got that thing from there yes yes of course the first thing is the doctor hmm. jab aapke aas paas koi naya doctor aata hai you feel like ke hoga nahi hoga kaisa doctor hai kya hai you go one day and you get uh, you get everything okay and then definitely whenever there is problem you will go to a, that doctor only so that faith uh, plays a very important role yes and as a reader and a uh, and as a you can say advisor you have to earn that faith yes absolutely yeah so that i think for now i don't have any other question uh, <laughs> i really thank you for your time uh, thank you so much hopefully i have cleared all your doubts and everything yeah yeah and uh, tarot is a beautiful tool and uh, i'm blessed to be connected with this divine energy and uh, these are not just the end point the gui- these are just guidance you know yes how the client and how the person take it that totally depends upon that person hmm. and uh, i like i said i also sometimes watch your live shows so uh, thank you so very <laughs> best and thank you so much for your time i love thank you it's my pleasure you know it's my yeah. pleasure. Uh-huh. thanks i'm stopping the recording ha thank you